I'd like to welcome you all to this uh, webinar, which is a broader webinar than we often do. So our work stream, our nutrition work stream within the Global Donor Platform for Rural Development usually meets every month to two months and we discuss various issues that are related to nutrition sensitive agriculture. And at the minute we're thinking we would do a bigger piece of work to try and capture what everyone else is doing. And we thought it's a good idea to do this through the Global Donor Platform. Um, our history was in the fact that when the World Bank did an agricultural strategy that sort of about 15 years ago when it started to write it, it was called a rural development strategy because agriculture was completely out of favour. And in doing the analytics for that and looking at funding and seeing funding going down, it made all of us get together essentially and say, we need to speak with a more common voice. We, we need to be saying the same things in our agencies. We need to be moving an agenda. And ostensibly, that was the foundation setting up the Global Donor Platform, which, you know, we're thrilled is hosted um, by GIZ now um, in Germany and always has been. So that's a little history for those of you who don't know the platform. It has a number of work streams, of which this is one. And a work stream basically starts when there are a group of donors who want to focus on a specific issue. And so around five years ago, there were a group of us who all wanted to focus on nutrition sensitive agriculture, recognizing it was a key issue to many of our agencies and it was becoming a key priority. So the goal is we learn from each other, we share our information, we work together. And so in a sense, this particular webinar is to learn from each other and from many other people about their approaches to nutrition sensitive agriculture. So with that background, I'm actually going to hand it over first to Mauro Girotti from um, Italian Development Corporation. Mauro, it's all yours. Yeah, let me welcome everybody also uh, in my position as the co-chair of the Global Donor Platform. Uh, let me follow up to what uh, Lynn just said. Probably you already got most of the information from the concept notes, uh, but I think it's worthwhile to um, highlight certain uh, uh, points. Number one, the main scope of this uh, cycle of exercise that we are going to promote in the coming months is especially to promote the exchange of uh, information experience so that we can increase both the scale and efficiency of uh, uh, nutrition-sensitive agriculture action. Uh, this is the first teleconference that we are glad has uh, many uh, interested uh, colleagues, as you, uh, in, uh, will be probably followed in early autumn by an odd one in which we would like to highlight especially the structured exchange of uh, uh, experience, direct experience. Uh, and uh, possibly this uh, second uh, um, telco uh, could be followed by an event face-to-face -face in Rome that uh, we will be going to work with. In fact, we expect at the end of uh, uh, this webinar to have a brief discussion with some of you to have a practical proposal. Obviously, um, considering what already Lean has been said, our approach as a donor platform is quite practical for us. It's important then to discuss with you how to apply all the notion, notion and the concept and approaches that we are going to uh, to see together. Few points. Uh, obviously, uh, nutrition sensitive agriculture is absolutely not something new. Um, I remember with the, the Committee on Nutrition (ICC) uh, UCN uh, 20, 25 years ago, we were discussing, and if you browse the literature, you can see. Already in the late 80s, middle 80s, there were uh, different uh, uh, guidelines, manual and papers on how to put more nutrition into agriculture and not only agriculture. But uh, having considered that, today we have absolutely a broader, in, uh, a broader interest and uh, I think we have to live up our expectation, uh, trying to be more focused and uh, more practical in our approach. At the same time, we have to acknowledge that there are different approaches. 
uh, with broad uh, and direct uh, policy and practical implications. Let me do a few examples. For example, uh, when we speak about nutrition sensitive agriculture, we absolutely say that through agriculture we want to uh, tackle, we want to uh, address some of the underlying causes of malnutrition. Well, I think already in the framework uh, that is generally adopted, the so called uh, UNICEF framework, which basically recognizes food security, maternal care, and health and hygiene, you know, there could be discussion. Because it could be argued that it focuses mainly on uh, child malnutrition. Why we expect that nutrition sensitive agriculture should be broader than that. And so we hope that even the application of nutrition sensitive agriculture can promote a healthy discussion of trying to review for today's needs, especially in uh, Agenda 2030 uh, um, environment, uh, a new approach. Uh, or an updated approach on how addressing malnutrition. So, for example, it is important not only to address the issues and the concern of the farm and producer and their communities, but also, for example, the one of urban consumers, and consider the new dynamics given by broader, broader uh, uh, urbanization. So, in other words, nutrition sensitive agriculture, like we all know, cannot be only referred to agriculture, merely agriculture. And we have to consider all the aspects associated with the food system. As I said, there are different uh, approaches. Basically, uh, we have to recognize that on one hand, there is who believes uh, that food system uh, and have uh, inside themselves the solution to overcome most of the nutritional problems. And so our goal is to help their uh, rapid transition, which is taking place. Other approaches instead consider that there is an internal weakness, inside weakness in the food system, and we have to help to cope with that. Absolutely, there is no silver bullet. There is no one correct approach, interpretation, or solution. We know that it varies. And uh, uh, we know that uh, absolutely, uh, you know, is a scope uh, uh, we'll also uh, uh, consider how we should try to apply uh, in our different uh, situation, nutrition sensitive agriculture. Not because, because, because we have to be holistic, but because we recognize the complexity of each specific situation. Let me th therefore uh, uh, conclude and say welcome again, and uh, let me reiterate that the scope of this and other uh, uh, associated uh, initiative with nutrition sensitive agriculture is uh, to encourage an open and structured discussion.